ideal conditions for the 78th anniversary of the Strathcona Invitational saw two former champions pitted against each other. Four-time winner Barry Kaland met two-time winner Robert Cumming in what would prove to be an exciting matchup. This was Kaland and Cummings' fifth final each, the second highest combined total in tournament history, with both players at the peak of their careers. After having the first hole with routine pars, we pick it up on the par 5 second. Cumming pulls his tee shot left, while Kaland hits a long drive that ends up on the right fairway. Kaland has a perfect angle to go for the green while Cumming is forced to lay up. Cumming misses his putt. While Kalen's putt for an eagle from 25 feet falls just short. It's conceded as a birdie four and Kalen goes one up. On the next hole, strategies differed. Kalen tees off with an iron and places his drive dead center in the fairway. Cumming, using a driver, hits it down the left side through the fairway and ends up in the rough. An error that results in Cumming losing the hole as Kalen puts his second shot within three feet while Cumming, unable to get up and down for par, concedes the hole to Kalen. After having the par 3 fourth, Cumming has a chance to pull within one on the fifth. After a great drive and a second shot that left him within six feet of the hole, Cumming misjudges the break and lips out, leaving him still down two. On the sixth, Kalen makes a tremendous drive to the green that puts him 10 feet away for eagles. He misses the putt, but the hole is conceded as birdie three, leaving Kalen three up. The seventh hole sees both players on the green facing long and difficult birdie putts. From 40 feet, Cumming makes a great attempt. Kalen from 30 feet knocks it in the bottom of the cup and goes four up. Things are looking bleak for coming, down four after seven holes, but on the eighth, he starts to turn it around. Cumming makes a good tee shot and a second shot to the front apron, which left him with a conceited birdie. Meanwhile, Kalen gives Cumming an opening. He flies the green. Ending up in the deep bush and is forced to take an unplayable lie. His bogey six shrinks the lead to three. On the 10th, coming second shot puts him within five feet of the hole. Kaland, possibly feeling the pressure, catches a tree, leaving him with a 17-foot uphill putt. He comes up short. While coming sinks his putt and is now just one down. The Strathcona's 11th is one of the toughest holes on the course, a long 225-yard par 3. For Cumming, the hole has played a big part in his past victories, with birdies in 1996 and 2005. But this time, Cumming is unable to match those past efforts. He and Kalen both bogey the hole. Kalen remains one up. On the 12th and 13th holes, both players miss opportunities. 
failing to convert makeable birdie putts. With Kalen and Cumming separated by only one hole, the pressure would ratchet up. The 14th hole sees Kalen stepping up with a great tee shot that puts him just short of the green in the light rough. He follows it with a good chip within 10 feet of the hole. Cumming in the rough with a tough lie, manages to make the green, but is left with a difficult 20-foot uphill putt. He misses it. Kaland, on the other hand, is clutch and drains it. He's two up with four holes to go. In 1992, Barry Kaland was two down against Trevor Jones going into the 15th hole, but birdied three of the next four. He knows possibly better than anyone that coming can come back and that the match is far from over. After an excellent shot, coming is within 25 feet for Eagle. Kaland in the rough with a challenging lie, makes a great recovery, and after chipping, is within 10 feet, but fails to convert for birdie. Cumming leaves his eagle attempt just short, but in what may have been the key moment in the match, Cumming pushes his short putt right, and just like that, a golden opportunity to move within one slips away. There's nothing routine about the 16th. Coming second shot puts him at the back of the green, 40 feet from the hole. On his next putt, Cumming doesn't want to be short, but can't get it done and is left with a tough 10-footer. Kaland, after his second shot, was facing a tough up and down. With little green to work with, Kalen makes a good chip within 10 feet. But neither Kalen nor Cumming can convert, and they have the hole. Two down and two holes to go. Cumming has to win this hole, or the match goes to Kalen. Kalen needs to be solid off the tee, and he is. Pin high and to the right. Cumming seeing Kalen's drive, knows his own tee shot is critical. But he hooks it left, leaving him no real avenue to the green. The result is three strokes for Cumming to reach the green, not enough to catch Kalen. Cumming concedes the hole, and Kalen prevails 3-1, and one, claiming his fifth Strathcona Invitational Championship. It was a great match. For Robert Cumming, missing the putt on the 15th was crucial. For Kaland, it had to be making the putt on 14. Switch it around, and the match is tied going into the 16th hole. It was, for Barry Kaland, a sweet victory, and it leaves him one championship shy of Bob Devine's record of six Strath Invitational wins. The 2009 Strathcona Invitational will surely be a great one. See you there. Yeah,